Hello and thank you for tuning in to the video tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to install PHP MyAdmin on your LAMP server installation running CentOS 6. Um, as described in my previous video on how to install a LAMP server, um, we're using Carrot Network's basic VPS package for $15 a month um, to run a LAMP instance with PHP MyAdmin. So let's go right into the video tutorial. First we're going to have to log into your server through SSH by entering the IP and the port, logging in. Once you've logged in, we're going to need to uh, wget the PHP MyAdmin files, which are located at sourceforge.net. Once we've located the files, we can click this down arrow and click on Download Now. It'll, this will give you the direct link to downloading um, PHP MyAdmin to your server. So we're going to go ahead and uh, copy the direct link and w get it to the server. As you can see, I've downloaded the file. We're going to go ahead and um, unzip, untar the unzip the file rather. Next, we're going to move the PHP MyAdmin folder to your var www.html PHP MyAdmin folder. Next, we're going to navigate to var www.html PHP MyAdmin. You'll see all the PHP MyAdmin files have been success successfully copied. Next, we're going to copy the config sample file by typing cp. Uh, config.sample.inc.php to config.inc.php. We're going to use nano to edit that file, nano config.inc.php. Now we're going to go down to the part of the config file where it says auth underscore type and change it from cookie to HTTP. Next, we have to restart the uh, web service for Apache. That's etc.init.dhttpd restart. This will stop and start our Apache. And we're going to navigate our browser to the PHP MyAdmin directory. And in our case, that'll be 74.82.193.196 slash PHP MyAdmin. It's going to ask for a username and password in this field, as uh, used in my previous tutorial. Uh, the username is root and the password is 12345. So I've logged into the PHP at my admin server, as you can see, successfully. If you'd like to create a, an SQL database user, you simply go to the Users tab after you've logged in. Go to Add User. Enter a username and a password. And if you look under database for user, you can actually specify uh, to create a database with the same username and grant all privileges to that user. So I recommend this if you're a first timer to the PHP MyAdmin uh, configurations. So just check off create database with same name and grant privileges. And scroll down and click add user. Now that the user has been created, uh, you'll find it on the left hand side of the site. Uh, we can actually log out of PHP MyAdmin and log in as the newly created user. So he now has only access to the database that you've assigned him to, which is called the username. That concludes my video tutorial. Please uh, subscribe to my channel for future tutorials and uh, updates regarding Linux. Uh, and general information, please like the video and uh, let people know about our channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.
you can enter your server IP.